11 o'clock. Lots of people here. I'll head in there down at the driver's meeting right now. And I sold one shirt. So it's going to be one of those days for me, maybe. I don't know. Um, we are down to just the brand new shirt that we have. The black shirt with the white break car breaking through the wall. Because I've been waiting for him to get that car done. So I could get a shirt, the new car. I didn't want to reprint shirts with the old car on it. So, but now the new car is done. So I'm hoping to get some great photos today that we can use to create some new shirt designs. So that'll be exciting. So that's going to be my main focus for today is trying to catch some good photographs of that car and the paint job before it gets messed up any more than it already is in the back corner. It's got some scratches already. Um, yeah, so that'll be my main focus today. It's very windy out here, and it's a little chilly, but the sun is super bright, so it should warm up, and uh, we should have a good day. All right? Right, Bailey? Right. <laughs> so the pollen in North Carolina is terrible for, I don't know, three or four weeks. I don't know if you can see, but see that just dust? That's not dirt, that's not dust, that is pollen that is just flying through the air and landing on this car. Look at it on the bag. It never shows up as good on camera as it, as it is in real life. I always take pictures and send it back to my family to um, amaze them with our pollen storms. Sometimes, like the last night when I got here to the track, it looked like it was smoke in the trees, like smoke in the air, and it was just clouds of pollen. on a jump and it was close like really close but they said in I mean Ziffer the, the track the, the race master said it was dead on the hill so all right so you're through so we're through first round on the second round all right were you nervous yeah I got hundred dollars yeah I'm gonna let you know he's got hundred in his pocket if you want it and that was supposed to be given to you uh so. thank you appreciate that Courtney <laughs> thanks appreciate Courtney it. thanks a lot go check out his Maverick on hustling horsepower Oh, that, I didn't even get the right channel. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, the paper. paper. Paint. <laughs> paint. Oh, All of us, the paint job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Quick update down here at Dare Die. So, in round one, John won, and the other, I can't remember the name of the other racer, but he contested, and they upheld that John won. Round two, um, John lost, but what happened is the he thought the other guy jumped. Everybody else thought, or a bunch of people thought John was just sleeping on it because he didn't want to jump again. So he went and contested it, and they overturned it, and John is okay. back in for round three. So that is our update right now. If you're um, watching the live feed, we got Stage Lane Productions on YouTube is live feeding. We got Pennywise is live feeding. I think. Uh, I think Drag or Die is live feeding as well. So today is getting intense. It's getting crazy here at Drag or Die. Um, I don't know what's going to happen next, but it's going to be absolutely crazy. So I just want to give you guys a quick update. If you saw on the live feed that John went out, he is not out. He contested it, and he is back in for round three. So make sure you um, hit one of those live feeds, Stage Lane Productions, Pennywise, I think Drag or Die. And I'll watch round three because Turbo John is back in the race. Yes. All right, I'll catch you guys later. I know that was a really quick live, but I just wanted to give you an update. All right. Yeah. All right, hey guys, I have a visitor in the pit. This is Caitlin Ward. Caitlin is the most awesome photographer. She takes some of the best pictures. And we were just talking, we have a, a visitor. This is Rex. Nick and Maddie's um, dog has come to visit Bailey, and so Caitlin takes the most awesome pictures of dogs and race cars. So, Caitlin, tell us tell us about your business, your photography. 
Well, I just do uh, drag racing photography, anything car enthusiast related. I do personal shoots. I do a lot of no prep and street racing. I'm trying to venture out into some radial prep this year as well too. I love being around cars and I mean, I've been traveling with a team, Team Denver, as you guys might know from the East Coast uh, for quite a few years now. And I just picked up a camera one day and started doing photography and it just kind of took off. Well, you're really good at it. So oh, so yeah, I wanted you guys to see the stickers she was just gonna give me. These are oh, the most cute. awesome little stickers. I just got them yesterday from Gypsy Twist Designs. You guys need to go hit them up. They are absolutely awesome. That is so cool. I like the pink one. John's gonna want the other one. Yeah, absolutely. Got girls and guys. That's everybody. awesome. <laughs> I love it. Hey, thank you for the stickers. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, guys, check. where can they check you out at? Do you have like a website or yeah, Facebook? Yeah, you can check me out on Facebook, KW Photography, and Instagram too. Awesome. Thanks. All right, it is time for Pit Cuisine. So today's Pit Cuisine, we have pizza rolls, which is a perfect handheld food for the track. This will be our lunch um, for dinner. They, some of the guys are going to be grilling. I can't wait to show you what they're grilling because it's going to be awesome. But this will be our um, our lunch. So basically, they are um, pizza rolls. So it's just bread, pepperoni, and cheese in there. These ones are cold. These ones are warming up in the crock pot. And then we got some uh, pizza sauce here to dip in. We're going to use the nacho containers there to make that perfect. So let me grab myself a warmed up one, or at least somewhat warm. And there we go. There's our pit cuisine for the day for lunch. I'll have the recipe later on on my channel for how to make these. They're super easy. You can make them the day before and bring them. And uh, yeah, they're a lot of fun and they're delicious. So we had pepperoni rolls for lunch, but now we have a special treat. This is Happy, and he's gonna talk to us about how he made, what is it? Pork butt. Pork butt, all right. Show it, show it to us first. Oh my gosh, you guys, you should smell this. It smells so amazing. All right, so how did you make it? Because this is like, oh, look at it fall apart. Oh, I can't wait to try some. Took it and uh, covered it in a, whatever seasoning you prefer. Uh, they have, they call it butt rub, butt rub. pork butt seasoning. <laughs> butt rub. Oh yeah, it's, uh, you'll see it at the store. On the shelf, had a little pig on it. So butt rub. Um, and then put it in, and we've had it on the grill for probably 13 hours. Oh my gosh. And uh, just got finished a little bit ago. And now it's pretty much thick as you go. Awesome. So just pull some off. I gotta yeah. try. Oh yeah. All right. Right there. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. Pork butt. Wow. Not That's bad amazing. Track. No. <laughs> right, I gotta have some more. Pretty much hands off. You just keep it on like the grill. It's going only a certain temperature. You just keep it on all the time and <laughs> go check the temperature. It was very good. There we go. And then we're gonna have more stuff later, I think. Um, we have ribs, right? Yeah, ribs. Uh, heat of the butt also, it's on there. Oh, awesome. And uh, yeah, ribs to cook, dogs to cook, all kinds of goodies. I love it when these guys bring their grills. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right, so we went out round three. Um, race is over for us today, although we still hang out and have a good time watching the race and talking to everybody but um today has been tough it's been tough even for me I'm not even racing and it's been tough it's been tough because the weather like really bright sun lots of cold wind pollen everywhere it's like you're hot you're cold the t-shirt rack blew over twice hats flying everywhere I, I had to just pack it all up after a while so I mean my face feels sunburnt. I don't know if it looks sunburnt, but it feels sunburnt. Even poor Bailey is exhausted. He's been like sleeping every time he has a chance because it's just exhausting. And then the adrenaline of first round got challenged, second round lost, then he challenged, then he was in. You know, it's just, it, this has been a drama crazy race, the sticker dive. But, you know, this is it. Still learning with the new car still moving forward so we'll be here we'll see what happens the rest of the night I think I'm ready for work 
I was so tired last night. I didn't even film an outro to the video before I went to bed. I was exhausted between the wind and the sun and the pollen. It was crazy, but we had a great time at Digger Die. It was great to see everybody again. John's got some work to do on the car, you know, but that's what we knew when he switched cars. We knew that was what was going to happen. So we are just got home, unloading the RV, and then guess where he's going? Going to work on the car. So we will see. Look, there he is unloading. <laughs> hey, I'm filming my outro. I forgot. To oh, do you're it doing yesterday. your outro? What's up, guys? <laughs> I told him we were unloading the RV. Fun. And then you're going to go work on the car. I got to get faster. I'm tired of being. <laughs> I'm tired of sucking. You I gotta get suck. better. You will. You'll make it. <laughs> Alright everybody, have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.